So this question comes from James R., and it's a follow-up question to a question I answered yesterday, but it's a good, uh, good follow-up question, so, uh, so I'll answer it. Um, Eli, thank you for the response. I was not expecting a video response, so that was pretty cool. I just wanted to clarify. So this person yesterday, the question was, was where in the U.S. should he go to get a, a bachelor's degree in ethical hacking? So a bachelor's degree in ethical hacking, not a certification, none of that bachelor's degree. And basically, I laughed at him <laughs> the way I laugh at all of you guys when you ask that kind of question. Um, I just want to clarify because I saw the frustration as to wanting to jump into ethical hacking that what my main goal here is to come out of college with a specialty degree rather than a degree in computer science and then have to spend even more money and time on multiple certifications. I am 32 now and a prior Marine and have two pages of different certifications and associates that all seem to take me nowhere so I didn't want you to think I was being naive uh, in that I could just jump into ethical hacking right after school. I'm hoping to at least stay in the realms of cybersecurity uh, when I complete my bachelor's, but obviously I will take whatever I can get to build my resume as well. I just feared that if I stuck with the normal path of getting a degree in computer science instead of a specialty like cybersecurity or ethical hacking, that I would be stuck spending a lot more money and time on additional certifications. On top of that, it will take uh, to complete a bachelor's as well. Um, I can't thank you enough for what you do, blah, 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 blah. So, so this is a very interesting type of question that comes up a lot of the time and it's one of those that I think really screws a lot of people over right uh, because it comes from the right mindset it's just not the right career so it's this whole idea of, I don't just want a degree in computer science Eli Eli I don't want to come out uh, four years of education and just have a degree in computer science you know wouldn't that suck you spend four years you pay all the money you spend all the time and then you just have a degree <laughs> And it's not quite how it works with a computer science program. As long, as long as you go through, in fact, a good computer science program, uh, you're going to be set. Um, as long as you're motivated and dedicated, you get out there and you actually push yourself. A computer science program is nothing to be sneezed at. One of the issues in the modern education system is so many of the degree programs out there are so effing worthless uh, that you have to get a specialty because frankly the main degree is effing worthless um, and therefore you have to do something in order to stand out with computer science computer science is a, is, a, is, a, is a real degree I mean again as long as you take it from a good school uh, you're going to come out of it and you are going to be able you're going to be qualified to do a number of things and you will be hireable again unless as long as you know you're a normal person and you're not insane and all that kind of stuff. Um, so a computer science program is a okay. Why this is concerning to me, and one of the reasons why I wanted to answer this is again because this is the psychology a lot of people have. I don't just want a computer science degree. I want a uh, you know a cyber security degree or an ethical hacking degree. And the issue is the problem that I see is unfortunately most of those uh, cyber security degrees and all that kind of stuff are basically just marketing spin. I Ironically, it's the computer science degree that is very valuable, and all of these like niche degrees that they're coming up with, frankly, are just so that the dean of the university can buy a fancier car. They're actually not very good programs. Um, I've seen a lot of these cybersecurity programs and all that, and frankly, they are pretty bad. Again, it is it is marketing spiel. Everybody wants to be a damn hacker. Everybody wants to be a cybersecurity expert, and therefore. Hey, if everybody wants to be one, we're going to come up with an education program to, to, to do something. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually train you to do a whole hell of a lot. Um, they're pretty miserable programs, and the jobs you can get afterwards, eh. So what I would say is really what you want to do. I mean, I know a lot of these companies that hire programmers, and the big thing that they want is experience. Experience, experience, experience. I talked about this a lot in my daily blog shows. What is your portfolio? Uh, especially as a computer programmer, you need to have a portfolio. When you go in uh, to go for the interview, they're going to ask you what you have done, what are you doing, and if you pull out uh, the equivalent of portfolio and say, well, I created this app, and I did this, and I did this, and I did this, and I have three apps, and 
the Google App Store, and I have one crappy little app in the iOS Store, and this and that and the other thing, that will be considered good. If you just walk in and you have a piece of paper, they're not going to care. I literally, I was talking to a CEO of this one company that was literally talking about how pro he looked down on programming certifications. Truly, truly. And he wasn't joking, and he wasn't exaggerating, he wasn't being melodramatic. And I looked at him and I said, what, what do you mean you look down on programming certifications? And he said, well, look at it from my perspective as an employer. I want people that are motivated. I want people that are disciplined. I want people that are so excited to do this work that they can't help themselves but, you know, code and play and create things. So if you have somebody that doesn't have a portfolio, but all they have focused on is certifications, I don't want that person. That person is worthless to me. I don't need somebody who can take a test. I don't need somebody who can memorize a book. I need somebody that can develop apps, right? So what I would argue is if you really want to get hired, go straight, get into the best computer science program you can get into. Again, the best one possible. Could do that. Uh, and then experience, 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 experience. While you are in uh, that computer science program, you know, whether it is playing around with your startup community, whether it's creating apps for people, whether it's creating apps for yourself what you want to do is you want to be able to create the biggest portfolio possible what you're gonna find is if you really care about ethical hacking and if you really care about cybersecurity and all that kind of stuff that is the kind of thing you can pick up by reading books later if you have if you have a solid core and understanding how computers work and net networks work and operating system work and all that kind of stuff then understanding cybersecurity and the rest of this is is you just pick up a couple of books and you read them and you learn. I mean, there is stuff to learn, but it's the computer science component. That is the thing that is really valuable and really difficult and what will be very useful to go through. So no, just go through a computer science program. If you really, and again, I'm not saying all cybersecurity programs are worthless. I'm not saying all of them are probably a couple out there that aren't. If you really want to do the cybersecurity, you're like, no, Eli, you don't understand, right? Then what you really need to do is you have to go to a reputable school. Again, MIT, Stanford, I don't know, Cornell. Um, basically, reputable schools do have cybersecurity programs. And I've talked to a few people that have gone to them, and they are exceptionally good. But what you have to understand is that is like... That's like 3% of the cybersecurity degrees out there are from reputable schools, and 97% is about the dean getting a bigger, a bigger house or a nicer car type of deal, right? So that would be a thing. Don't look down on a computer science. A computer science, as long as you get it from a decent school, uh, okay, you know, a, a computer science degree, do a computer science degree. While you're going through that computer science degree, get as much experience as possible, and you will be you'll you'll be fine. You'll be good to go. Computer there there is no just when you're talking about a computer science program.